I want to welcome you to the Prodigal Son Podcast. You know, I spent the biggest part of my life thinking God was just mad at me, just ticked, and found out in my mid-40s that that was a religious lie that nobody needed to ever believe. I thank God that for, for the last five, six years that I have known and understood that that I can count on him like a trusted friend. That's the reason we do this podcast six days a week. I record five of these podcasts, and, and then I put my pastor's message on Sunday on this podcast for people to grow and be strengthened and, and come to realize that God's a good God. He's not out to hurt anybody, but he wants to, to, to see us come to him to love us and to care for us. Oh, I thank God for that. Now, I, I, I want you to understand something. This podcast is, is put out in a lot of different avenues and a lot of different ways. Uh, we, it's shared over all kinds of different platforms. But I want to ask you, I, I want to ask you to share these podcasts on your social media, if you if you uh, if you listen to this podcast, put it on your Facebook account, Instagram, whatever you whatever you whatever social media platform you use, share these. Help us get the word out that that the Lord's a good God, and He wants more than anything to be part of every person on this planet's life. He wants to love us and care for us and minister us minister to us through his word and and that's what that's what this podcast is all about to teach people and and help them to understand and to know that they can count on God's word as much as they can count on the word of a trusted friend more they can count on him more oh i thank god for that truth today share these podcasts on your social media I want to take just a minute and thank all the partners. Partners, thank you for all that you do sowing into this ministry, helping us put this put this podcast on on the internet six days a week, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do, to give his word away free of charge. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over every partner of this ministry. A hundredfold return on everything that you sow into this ministry. Now listen, I, I want to emphasize this. This podcast is free. It's been given to you free of charge. Now give it away. Encourage others to find out what God's Word says to them, for them, and about them. Glory to God. My prayers for you comes out of Paul's prayers for the Ephesians. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, 
how high and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, I do these prayers every time I do this podcast because I want this world to know, have their eyes opened to God's love. His mercy, His grace, and His goodness. I thank God that He's opened mine. Let's see what God's Word has to say today. Father, I thank You and I praise You, God, for Your Word. Guide me. Use me for Your honor and Your glory. Touch my mind. Touch my mouth. Help me be the light, the strength, the wisdom for someone to hear that You can shine through and give them that strength and wisdom that they need. Lord, I'm here to be used of you, and I thank you and I praise you for all that you're doing in my life and in the people's lives that's listening to this podcast. God and direct, use me for your honor and your glory. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. You know, I want to talk to you this week, today for sure, but I'm thinking this, we're going to talk about uh, the last part of the book of Genesis this week. And uh, we're going to talk about Joseph, but I want to go. I want to go to uh, Genesis, the fifth chapter, and the the twentieth, the fiftieth chapter. Excuse me. This is Genesis tw- fifty and the twentieth verse, the fiftieth chapter of Genesis and the twentieth verse. And this was when Joseph was talking to his brothers after after Jacob had died, and and his his brothers were so tormented because they thought that their their younger brother was going to take vengeance upon them. But listen, it says, but as for you, you thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day to save, save much people alive. Now, I want to encourage you today to go back and and read the last uh, it's from uh, it's from chapter thirty seven to chapter fifty in the, in the book of Genesis. Now you talking about a success story? You talking about a, a a story of a person that overcame all odds? Joseph did, and and I I, re, I sat down here in in where I do my podcast one morning and read all what is that thirteen chapters fourteen chapters uh, that I read. Of, of the last book of Genesis, you talking about something that would just just wind you up to think about what all went on. And in the end, in the end, the very ones that that set out to uh, to hurt him, there, you know, jealousy brought all this mess on. But the ones that set out to hurt him, he forgave them and he loved them. And and he wanted them to know, said, look, you you wanted evil to come of me, but God, He's He's made it good. He meant it for good. Why? To save them and and the entire uh, nation of Egypt. I mean, think about what where they would have been if it hadn't been for Joseph and the the Holy Spirit leading him and guiding him and and helping him do what he done. But that's what I want to talk to you today about. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care where you're at in life. I want you to understand something, that, that God will, will lead you and guide you just like he did Joseph. I don't care what has taken place, where, what the, the, this election that's went on. Hey, look, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. God is still on his throne. I don't care what man sits in that in that White House and 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 oversees our government. God is still on His throne. He's still able and willing to watch over His children. But we've got to allow Him to. You know, we go back into the and and I'm probably going to do this uh, this week. Go back in and look at, at what happened to to Joseph. 
You know, Joseph was a uh, was a young man that had been born into a family that, if I'm not mistaken, and and I and I know I'm not, uh, there was three women that were involved in this in this situation, and 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 the uh, his mother had been barren all of her life, and 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 she was she was the sister, her sister. Her and a and two more. I'm sorry. She was. There were four of them that were were married to Joseph, and they all bore children. But but Rachel was uh, Rachel was uh, Jacob's favorite. And when when Joseph was born, when Joseph was born, uh, it just thrilled him. And and this is where this is where it all started, because because Jacob made him a coat of many colors, and 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 when he wore that coat, you know Joseph had a dream, and he made the mistake of telling that dream, and 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 that was foreknowledge of what was going to go on, and and I don't want to get ahead of myself, and don't want to get uh, don't want to get into something that's that's uh going to uh take away from what I'm talking about today but jo- Joseph or Jacob made it a point to make Joseph uh, Joseph his favorite and and Joseph knew that and the brothers were were just downright jealous of him and 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 they done things that they should have never done but what I want you to look at and what I want you to see that uh, what happened is that God saw him through all the bad things that that the people that didn't like him around him threw at him. He never, never do you see Joseph downhearted and 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 beaten down over his situation. You see him stand tall and stand for what he knows is right. All through the thirty seventh chapter all the way through the 50th chapter you'll never see Joseph stumble and fall he may have been disappointed but he never staggered he is always faithful to who he stood and 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 uh who he served and it just it thrills me when i read that story because that story is a is a story that everybody in this world needs to hear. They need to hear what what how Joseph what things he went through and what he overcame. How through faith in God. Oh, I mean, think about it. Think about it. He was cast into prison. He was thrown into a pit and sold into slavery. And and sold to a man that 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 seen what was going on in his life and seen the potential and seen that God was with him and 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 made him head of his household and and the man's wife just just done her best to to make him stagger and stumble and and Joseph said no I'm not going to do that now, he's not going to have. Uh, uh, commit adultery with this woman, and she lied on him, and got him put in prison. And and like I say, we're going we won't talk about these things this week. But but what I want you to see and understand is that Joseph he he stood on not on his strength, not on his goodness. No, he stood on God. He stood on what he knew. What he knew was going to bring him through, and and you look down at the fiftieth fiftieth chapter, and he told his brothers, he said, "What y'all meant for evil, God meant for good, to save a multitude of people," and he did. Oh, he did. And and I, that's what I want you to understand today is that there is a there's a plan for all of our lives. And like I say, I don't know what situation you're in. I don't know what city in these United States that you abide that you're living in. But I want you to understand and know something that God's still on His throne. He's still standing right there, waiting on you to turn to Him and uh, and allow Him to love you 
and care for you and help you and see you through everything that comes against you. You know, you look at look at what Joseph went through. And 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 I mean being in prison and being falsely accused and 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 sold into slavery by his brothers, by his own by his own flesh and blood. And what did he what happened? He still kept going. He still kept looking to God for guidance, for strength, for help. I'm telling you, God brought him through it. He he brought him through it. And what's going on in this nation right now? I mean, it's easily fixed. How? Prayer. Faith in God. Faith in, in the one that you're praying to. Faith in God. And standing on what we know, we know he's going to do, and he's going to take care of all the ones that are committed in that unto him. Born again. Born into the family of God. You see, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And, and you got to understand that and know that. No weapon formed against you will prosper if you'll believe that and stand on that. That's what God wants us to do. He wants us to stand and believe on him. Believing he's going to take care of our situation. You know... <laughs> The things that this nation is going through right now, the things that you're living through right now in your life are nothing to, the, to God's ability to take care of things. Nothing. Nothing. But we've got, we've, got to, we've got to believe that he will depend upon him too. You know, a lot of people don't understand that. They think that God's in control. I've heard it over and over, and I made the, I made the mistake of, of saying that myself, that a lot of times over my life, that God's in control. He'll take care of things, and what he wants done, he'll make sure it gets done. And, and that's just not the case. And I'm going I'm to give you a scripture and tell you why it's not the case. It's, uh, it's uh, uh, Genesis 1, 26. I want, you to, I want you to read this with me. I want you to see and understand what I'm talking about. It says, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. God gave mankind dominion. That is control over this earth. That's the reason we're in the position we're in right now in this nation and in this world because man's had control over this mess. And the only way that God gets his uh, will and way done in this life is when we, as people, as men, look to him and allow him to do what he wants to do, and that is what his word says. You see, there's, 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 a, there's a lot of times in, in, in my, there, in, there's been a lot of times in my life that God hadn't had his way in my life. Why? Because I chose, I chose to look a different direction. I chose to uh, do things that wasn't pleasing to him. I chose not to believe what he said to me, for me, and about me in his word. And that's the reason this, this nation's in a mess that it's in. That's the reason that, that, that the nation that we live in is in such a turmoil because mankind wants his way and they don't realize what that entails they don't realize what what it uh what man getting his way does to the the world that we live in this is a mess we're in i don't know who the next president will be but i do know this i know that god himself is going to watch after me and anybody else that will believe him and have faith in him and stand in stand in his word and believe his word regardless of what they see with their own eyes. Joseph lived a life of prison and being betrayed by his own family. I mean, he lived a long time that way, years. But in the end, he was able to stand up and know what God wanted, wanted to do in his life. And that what was that? Was to use him 
to save multitudes of people all over that part of the world. How? Through Joseph depending on God. I want to ask you something today. Are you depending upon him? If there's ever a time in your life that, 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 that you should be depending upon God, it's now. Stand on what he says to you, for you, about you in his word. Believe what he says about you. Believe what he says for you. Because I promise you, if you'll get the same faith that Joseph had in God, you, you'll see things change in your life. He'll bring you through things that you, that you thought was virtually impossible. Oh, I thank God for the truth in his word. I praise God for all that he's done in my life, bringing me through things like he did Joseph. Glory to God. I, I want you to see this, and I want you to understand this. But, you know, the key to all that I'm talking about is being born again. And if you're not born again, that, that's what I want, to, I want to ask you today. Would you like to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? Accept that invitation that, that opens the door to God's kingdom. I, I promise you, I promise you, there ain't nothing in this world that you can do that will give you more satisfaction and that to know that Jesus is your Lord and your Savior and He's on your side. He's watching after you. God takes care of his children. Oh, I thank God for that. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life today. Romans 10 and 9 said, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says, Thou shalt be saved. It says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. That's all it takes to be saved. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life today and watch him change your life forever. Hey, I want to thank you for tuning in to this podcast. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what God's doing in your life. It thrills me to hear from people that are, that are standing on God's word and believe in God's word like Joseph did. Joseph believed God. He stood on what, it, and, and God brought him through that. And I thank God for people that are doing the same here in this world we live in today. It's the-prodigalson.com. Get in touch with us. We want to hear from you today. Partners, thank you for all that you're doing. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today. A hundredfold return on everything that you're sowing into this ministry. Helping us see people born again, saved, saved through their truth in God's Word. If you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into His kingdom. It's the-prodigalson.com. Get in touch with us today.